Hi, so just a couple of days ago, Google has released a paper called Switch Transformers Scaling to Trillion Parameter Models with Simple and Efficient Sparsity, which actually is about how to build a model which is even larger than GPT-3. So GPT-3 had uh, 175 billion parameters. It was built by OpenAI and was the biggest transformer to date. And right now, Google has come up with a newer version uh, of, of a transformer-based model, uh, basically developing what they did for with T5. Uh, and they have trained a model which uh, which has 1.6 trillion parameter uh, trillion parameters, uh, which is an uh, uh, basically an absurd number. Uh, they used a supercomputer to train that, uh, and basically they showed that the results they gotten are uh, four times better than they, than they did with T5, uh, the largest version of, of T5. So T5, the largest version of T5 was something like uh, 11 billion. Uh, parameters, if I remember correctly. Uh, so there's no direct com comparison be, uh, between uh, this model, the, the model that they call switch transformers and the GPT-3, uh, but probably we can expect that this will be definitely better in some tasks than GPT-3. They somehow changed the, the transformer, the a little bit of the structure. Uh, they still train the model uh, using C4, uh, the data set Colossal Clean Crawled Corpus, which was used already for T5. Uh, and they use this new paradigm of um, mixture of experts, which is basically having a bunch of models and each of those models is actually responsible for different smaller tasks for, di for different parameters. Um, so basically this kind of paradigm was already introduced in the 90s uh, and basically it was used to yeah, have a couple of models that you can uh, refer to for different tasks and altogether the whole system works better because you have this system of experts. So they trained the, this uh, new switch transformer with uh, this paradigm of having 2000 experts, uh, which are responsible for some of the parameters uh, in the big model, in this trillion uh, parameter model. Uh, and that's basically what I can understand so far from the paper. Uh, I've only seen that a couple of days ago, so I'm still reading and definitely will be coming back to what they did uh, here in the paper. Uh, hopefully to see some implementation, to be able to test it, that will be uh, great. Probably some more comparisons with GPT-3 will also be in place. In general, this is what I was expecting. Uh, this is what I wanted to tell as well. I was already talking in the videos on GPT-3 that probably Google and other companies will come up with models which are larger, uh, better than GPT-3. And also some Altman from GPT-3 also mentioned that GPT-3 is uh, just the glimpse into the future of AI and there will be new models uh, much better, uh, which is the case, which is definitely the case. Uh, so yeah. So the, I guess, uh, so far as I understand, that the main difference is the switch transformers based on the uh, mixture of experts uh, paradigm, which allows you to uh, really train the model in parallel, uh, split the model into smaller models and train them in parallel uh, using this parallel computational parallelization, uh, which allows you to train this absurdly large number of parameters at once, but you still need a supercomputer. Uh, at the end of the paper, the authors uh, answer a couple of questions regarding uh, what you might want to ask. So for example, can you uh, make the model smaller and make it useful still? So for example, uh, can you shrink the model? And they answered probably that you can shrink it from, two, uh, from uh, 10 to 100 times achieving still like 30% uh, quality loss just, so that's okay. Uh, it still needed to have a supercomputer to run it. Uh, there are a couple of other questions that you might find useful as well. Uh, so this is definitely interesting. Uh, they mentioned what, uh, what, what is still to be done when it comes to the future work, what they plan to do, what are the, some open future directions. So definitely if you're a researcher in the field, uh, this is the paper to read right now and understand much better. Uh, 
yeah, it's really interesting. I'm looking forward to having implementation of uh, uh, the switch transformers T5 uh, somewhere so I can play around and see for myself whether it's better or worse. When it comes to generating text uh, and when it comes to understanding data and putting that to coherent text. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to stay tuned, please subscribe to my channel and see you in the next episode.